Hello everyone, I am Vidhi Patel. We will see normalization in this tutorial. The word normalization and normal form refers the structure of the database. Database normalization is the database schema design technique by which an existing schema is modified to minimize redundancy and dependency of data. Normalization is the process of removing redundant data from tables in order to improve storage efficiency, data integrity and scalability. There may be a redundancy at row level and column level. Row level redundancy is removed by adding primary key constraint on column. Column having primary key constraint cannot have duplicate and null value. Now let's talk about column level redundancy. Here you can see the example of relation student. In this example, no any row is exactly same, but columns are same, which are course ID, course name, faculty ID and faculty name. Here we have only five values, but whenever we are going to create a database, there are thousands of or lakhs of records available. So in that data, if so many values of column is same, then it causes the problems. There are three types of problems and the problems are insertion anomaly, deletion anomaly and updation anomaly. Anomaly means problems. Anomaly means problems occur on special occasion. Why only three anomalies? There are only three operations which are performed on the database which are insert, update and delete. Let's see insertion anomalies. If I am going to add new student in the table, so there is no problem. But if I am going to add a new course and new faculty name, so I cannot add that data. Why? Here I have no data for student ID and student ID is defined as primary. key. So the value cannot be null of student ID. Here course is introduced no any student code admission yet. Also we cannot enter any dummy value for null value. It will cause problem later on. So we cannot insert directly. This is the insertion anomaly. Next is deletion anomaly. If I want to remove data for student ID as 02, then we can delete that row. There is no problem. So what is deletion anomaly? If you have to delete the data of student ID S05. Now you can tell me who is teaching student S05. What is the name of course C03? You cannot give me any answer because by removing student details, course and faculty details is also removed, which is not recovered later. Now let's see updation anomalies. If I want to update student name, then there is no problem. But if I want to change the faculty name of FID F03, then it will change in the whole table where it gets FID is equals to F03. It will consume more time. There is only one faculty whose faculty ID is F03. So update operation should perform only once. But due to column level duplicacy, it will change the data more than one time. So it causes updation anomalies. We can solve these problems using normalization technique. Let's see what is normalization. First, we will see the definition of the normalization. It is the aim of well-designed relational database management system. Normalization is the iterative process. So we can say that it is step-by-step -step set of rules by which data is put in the its simplest form which proceeds in a top-down fashion by evaluating each relation against the criteria for normal forms and decomposing the relation if required means it is a multi-step process that puts data in tabular form and splits a larger table into smaller table and define relationship between them to increase the clarity in organizing data in simple words, we divide the student table. We got three new tables. In student table, we have student ID and student name. In course table, we have course name, ID and course name. In faculty table, we have faculty ID and faculty name. Now, you can perform any operation which are insert, update and delete, which will not cause any problem. Next is goal of the normalization. 
we can say that the need of the normalization. First one is to minimize data redundancy. No unnecessary duplication of the data. Next one is to minimize insert, update and deletion anomalies, which we have already discussed earlier in this video. To improve data integrity, scalability and data consistency. So it is easy to perform operation and complex queries can be easily handled. Normalization increases clarity in organizing the data in the database. Due to less storage space is required which reduce this space. There are various normal forms available which are first normal form, second normal form, third normal form, boycott and normal form and up to fifth normal form which we will discuss in the next video. We have seen normalization in this tutorial. If you have any doubt or query regarding this tutorial then you can write it into the comment section. If you want to watch another tutorials of this series then link is available in the description box. If you like the video then press on the like button and share the video. Stay tuned with us for watching new videos of this series. Thank you for watching this video.